This is a history of the first Thanksgiving. Fall, 1621. In the barren land of North America, the Native Americans run amok with power over their land. A group of pilgrims thrown out of England due to their religious beliefs has just withstood a lengthy trip to North America. Many have died on the way to their new home, and many more will soon die as well. The Battle of Plymouth Rock was a horrific one. On the beaches of Massachusetts, the savage Indians attacked the recently landed pilgrims. The pilgrims, unequipped for such a battle, used fast arm movements and quick comedic slaps to the face to defeat the attacking Indians. Unfortunately, a few pilgrims died in this battle due to arrows and tomahawks hitting them in the face, but ultimately the pilgrims came away with the victory on this day. Now, the Indians went into hiding due to humiliation and confusion, and the pilgrims were now left to survive a harsh winter during which many more pilgrims died. But, in the following spring, after fending off the Indians once more, hope was discovered in the form of an Indian. One of the Indian survivors of the spring battle, Squanto, was tortured to his breaking point. The pilgrims taught him English, and after they were able to understand him, he taught the pilgrims how to tend to the earth so they can grow crops in their new environment, as well as sharing with them some of the Indians' customs and traditions, all at musket point. Afterwards, he was shot in the face, and the five remaining pilgrim women made him into stew. Then, the Americans sought out the Indians and offered the Squanto stew as a sign of peace. The unknowing Indians accepted the gift and went back to their camps and then proceeded to eat one of their most decorated Indian war chiefs. One pilgrim, who had been spying on the Indians, saw them eat the stew and hurried back to the pilgrim settlement where he delivered the words to his people, I can't believe it! The Indians just finished eating Squanto! The pilgrims then shared a laugh. While the pilgrims were laughing at the Indians, one of the eaters got a really bad case of mud butt. This, of course, was unusual to the Indians because they were a healthy people and rarely got diarrhea or forms of it. During this young Indian's case of mud butt, a piece of Squanto's skull came out of him, and the treachery of the pilgrims was revealed. All the Indians threw up out of disgust and then rode to battle. They attacked the pilgrim camps once again, killing many. During the battle, one of the pilgrims said to the Indian chief, Almighty Chief, please, our children grow weary of the loss of their parents, as do we the loss of our brothers and sisters and husbands and wives. Spare us, and share with us a feast, the feast we were preparing for tonight. Share it with us and call it a feast of peace and thanks, thanking God for all that we have. We will call it Thanksgiving, and forevermore we could share this land rather than fight over it. The Indian chief, not knowing a word of English, threw a tomahawk at the man, which proceeded to hit him in the face and kill him. After the pilgrims fled the camp in fright, the victorious Indians ate all of their food while praying to their god for thanks, and that was the first Thanksgiving. The End